How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. The long awaited video that you guys have been asking for to get back to the um, Clips BTS system. Finally have the chance to do it today. Um, you have Alan from Homation. Hi guys, how you doing? Always see me talking about him in the videos. He sorts me out, he brings the stuff. Um, yeah, he's like my best buddy in the audio world. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna run over the system, what is in here. We're gonna run some videos for you guys. Um, I'll mention some of the stuff I know, but Al has a bit more spec on it. Um, so the system in this room is the Clips BTS 1, 102 system. Correct. So that is designed for like a 102 inch size screen. The 112 system goes up for a bigger room and then the 122 again, self-explanatory 122 inch screen. Um, Al will run you through some of the details about the systems. As far as I know, they just scale in power. Um, but oh. So essentially the 102 system that we've got in this room uh, is for a minimum size screen of 102 inches. Uh, it will scale up to 112 inches, so it will kind of fit within that cavity beautifully. Uh, each one of the modular systems uh, you kind of order as one uh, SKU or one unit and all the modules, so the left speaker, the center speaker, the right speaker, and the two woofers will come through together and they all bolt on beautifully. Uh, all of them have uh, 15 inch drivers for the left, center, right. Uh, the subwoofers are 18 inch drivers. So the left, center, right has a, on the 102 system, has a 7.5 inch titanium compression driver. Uh, and the left, center, right, you're looking at about a 200 watt RMS or continuous uh, power. Uh, on, on, on the actual speakers, very sensitive speakers, so they go really, really loud. Uh, the 18-inch drivers on the 102 system, you're looking at 600-watt RMS uh, at 8 ohms per each subwoofer, or each woofer that's, that's in the system. Um, and as you scale it up to the 112 and the 122, uh, it goes to 3-inch titanium compression drivers. Uh, the 112, uh, you're looking at 400 watt RMS per the left center right, also 600 watts RMS for the subs. And on the 122, you're looking at 800 watt RMS per left center right and 1 kilowatt RMS per each woofer. So a it's, it's a <laughs> lot of power. Uh, this, these kind of uh, systems, you need to have really, really good processing really clean processing. Uh, we have the big Moran's processor here, which is the 8805. Um, absolutely stunning processor, fully balanced system. Uh, and then you also need to have really good clean power as well. So power amplifiers. Uh, we are running the monitor audio uh, AI amplifiers. Um, so in other words, we've taken a amplifier that's 200, it's 800 watt RMS, by two and we've bridged them to two kilowatts. So the whole front stage has its own amplifier. So two kilowatts for the left, two kilowatts for the, the center, two kilowatts for the right, two kilowatts for the left sub, two kilowatts for the right. Absolute headroom for days. Would you use this in a normal home cinema or is this more aimed sort of going commercial or huge home cinema? So great, great question. Um, the drivers that they've used are actually from their commercial cinemas. Their professional audio system, they, what they've done is they've repackaged it for this kind of setup. However, I would put this in a cinema that you'll probably have 20 seats, so maybe yeah. two rows, three rows, five rows. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, for home cinema. I mean, this is repackaged for home cinema. However, if you want to get that impact, that, that full kind of mm. sound, that very good immersive, that huge punch, uh, I would probably look at a room that's about 10 meters long, yeah. six, seven, eight yeah. meters wide. So, you know, bigger, mm. bigger, bigger spaces. I think this room is um, a bit small for, but we knew that from the start. Yeah, 100%. That's why we went with the smaller, yeah. the, 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 the smaller yeah. one, the 102. And still, it, it sounds absolutely amazing with big gunshots and punches. You yeah. 
you actually yeah. feel it. As you, amazing. as you guys know, I'm a big Clips THX fan. Having the 6000 system myself, we mm -hmm. do that sort of scale system more. This is for the guy that really wants to go big, bonkers. Yeah. So pricing on system like this, if I remember this front stage is 500,000? Uh, it's about 700,000. 700, Sorry, 000. yeah, it's about, about 700. And the next one up? Uh, I haven't checked to be honest with you. And that's only the front stage, that's, guys. That's, that's the only front the front stage. stage. Yeah, so yeah. if we go about, let's say, 700K on the front stage, mm -hmm. um, processing 120, 150,000. Yeah. And then amplification? Yeah. Amplification, so it's about 100,000 Rand per amp. <laughs> per you go like a small amp. girl. <laughs> so. It's a lot of power eight. that we've got running this. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you're gonna do a system like this, you still need to add surrounds, they need to add up to the fronts. Um, yeah. Even your Atmos needs to be up to par. Correct. Two million rand? Two million it's rand about rand a two million rand system, yeah. correct, for, for the audio side. And that's not taking into equation the projector, it's gonna be like another half a bar. Correct. Yeah. So you are looking at about a three million rand yeah. system. Um, might I tell you the surrounds that we've got running in here, the THX mm. 8000 S's. So the the uh, in walls with the bipolar with the wider dispersion tweeters. Mm. Uh, and we've got the Pro 180 RPCs in the ceiling, which are probably one of the best in ceilings for this uh, application. I'll add some picks, guys. They're also angled to the side. Mm. So you can normally, I like to put the Atmos speakers. You know, to, not too far to the sides, but these you can because they actually throw that audio mm. all the way into the room. Mid, treble, and bass is kind of directed straight at the listeners. I'll actually what you want. add in the pick that you guys did for me yesterday on a cinema that we're working on now. That's not going to be the BTS, but it does show you the dispersion of what these Atmos speakers can do. Sure. And don't think the surrounds can't do the job. Um, these, th these THX surrounds yeah, are, they are probably mightily impressive, guys. They're probably good. Okay, so that's basically the system. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more stuff with Homation. I know there's some more rooms. Can we talk about them now, or is it for later? Uh, well, later. well, we we are currently uh, upgrading a lot of our rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think once once we've done the upgrade on the rooms, and then obviously we're gonna invite Home Cinema King back here to actually look at the rooms, to fold them, and uh, and actually show it to you guys. Yeah. You know, and if you guys are interested in hearing them. Um, just give them yeah. a call and we can book, you know, we can book a time slot for you. Yeah. Come here, grab popcorn, we'll, <laughs> we'll feed you coffee and we, we can have a job. <laughs> we won't even charge you for tickets. <laughs> we, will, we will charge you for them still, but yeah, yeah, that yeah. We'll, we'll sort out later. No, definitely. Okay, so um, I'm going to look at those rooms now and then later we'll be back for those. I think you're going to have an opening and et cetera, et cetera for that. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to add in some of the video clips now so you guys can enjoy this. See if you can hear. I know the microphone doesn't do it justice, but you'll get an idea of what the screen can do. Oh, we didn't add, this is also a Stuart screen, acoustic transparent. Correct. 100? 100 inch? This is 110 inch, but anamorphic. So anamorphic. Yeah, something I'm yet to do. I must still do anamorphic. I'm still 69. But okay guys, till the next video. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Cheers.